Greetings, earthlings. I am here today to open the fall 2020 friends subscription box as well as the fall 2020 Seinfeld mystery box. I actually had planned on opening these at the same time. The Seinfeld box came and then the Friends box was MIA. So then I filmed the Seinfeld one and then the next day the Friends one came and I filmed that and I already uploaded the Seinfeld one but I'm just gonna take them and I'm gonna mush them together and just do a two in one. So the Seinfeld video I'll probably be taking down and then just shoving it in with the Friends video. So that's what that's what this is right now. This is my intro to the video that I'm going to mush together of these two boxes. Okay, so uh, yeah, please subscribe. It means the world to me. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you later. Keep watching though. Keep watching. Yeah, watch the watch the video. Which we should I even point? I don't know. Uh, just keep watching. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I am here today to open the first Seinfeld subscription box. Now, this is by Culturefly, the same company that makes the Friends box and the Nick box that I have unboxed before on this channel, and the Office box that I, I subscribe to but haven't opened on this channel. Now, I planned on doing an unboxing of the Seinfeld box and the Friends box in one video. They were shipped on the same day, but the Friends box is nowhere to be found. And I didn't want to wait any longer. I want to see what's inside the Seinfeld box. Uh, it's pretty beefy. I'm excited to see what's inside. I did get the collector's box a few months ago and it came with a little Fusilli Jerry that you can find right there as well as a puffy shirt pin and a mug and a big blanket of the Kramer. But Let's see what's in this box. Woo. All right, so first we have a hat. It says, Vandalay Industries, importing and exporting, manufacturers of latex goods. Now, of course, that is George's made up company when he was trying to cheat the unemployment system. Oh my gosh, I love this, Vandalay Industries. I don't think I look good in hats though but I definitely appreciate this hat. That's really funny. Stickers. We have the black and white cookie that made Jerry sick. We have the puffy shirt, the Fusilli Jerry, yada, yada, yada. <gasps> the, uh, <laughs> the vanity plate that Kramer accidentally got and this beautiful portrait of George on the couch wonder, it looks like there's multiple papers in here. I wonder if there's different stickers on each one or if they're repeats. Oh yes, they are repeats, but I have to say I do love them. Top of the muffin to ya. This looks like a little uh, baking thing so you don't burn your hand, whatever that's called. And this is, this is the company that Elaine's boss stole her muffin top idea and made a bakery out of it. And that's cute, I like it. What's this? We have a tote bag, ah, with just a whole bunch of the, um, just references to the show. George's glasses, the, uh, the vanity plate. These pretzels are making me thirsty. Very nice, tote bag. I guess you can always use tote bags. The coffee table book of coffee tables. Now this of course is Kramer's coffee table book and it looks like it has legs that turns it into a coffee table. Let's open it and see what's inside. It also says the Kramer can, can, canvas print on it. I can't read. I wonder why it would say that. Um, Ooh, I wonder if that's what's inside the book instead of a bunch of pictures of celebrities coffee tables. Let's see what's inside. Oh no, it's just a notebook. But it turns into a coffee table. I love that. But why does it say 
Why did that wrapper say the Kramer on it? Strange. We have a shirt. What is this? Hot Spots of New York. Oh my goodness. I love this. That, of course, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Central Park, which I love Central Park. I love it. I've been there a bunch. Oh, like my shirt. I love it. Um, so it's got, it's got a map. So number one is George's apartment up there. Number two is George's second apartment. Number three is Elaine's apartment. Number four is Newman's apartment, 5E. Number four is Jerry's apartment. Oh, well, also Jerry's apartment because they live in the same apartment building. <laughs> Duh. Jerry's apartment 5A and then also for Jerry's, uh, Kramer's apartment 5B. Elaine's second apartment is number five. Number six is the soup kitchen. Number seven, Elaine's catalog retail office. Eight, Elaine's publishing office. <laughs> Joe DiMaggio Highway. Henry Hudson's Parkway. I love this. Hot spots of New York. Cool. I like it. All right. We have top of the muffin to you, food grade silicone baking tray. <laughs> That's kind of random, but just a little, a little mini muffin baking sheet. And you no, know, goes with this, I suppose. Okay. Here we have the Kramer. It's a canvas print. Little thing to hang it up on the wall. I love it. Like I said, the collector's box came with, um, what is this? Another Fusili Jerry? What am I supposed to do with two Fusili Jerry's? Christmas present. Uh, but this this is really cool. I'll have to hang it by uh, where I have the blanket. One last thing we have in here. This pretzels will make me thirsty. Pint glass. Let's open it up. And that, of course, is when Kramer was supposed to be in a movie or something. And, like, that was literally his only line. And he just couldn't figure it out. His pretzels are making me thirsty. All right, so that was our first, it doesn't come with, there's no little insert that tells you what everything is, but this was our first Seinfeld box. And I love it. I love this shirt. I'm definitely gonna wear it. Um, a lot of times with these boxes, my favorite things that come in the box are the shirts and I wear them a lot. All right, well, I definitely really appreciate this box. I uh, can't wait for the next one. Greetings or things, I am here today with the Friends Season 3 Mystery Box. I was literally just here yesterday with the first Seinfeld box and I talked about how I wanted to open both of them in one video, but I didn't know where my Friends box was and then it suddenly showed up today. Thanks! This is Season 3, the Fall 2020 box. It says, we were on a break. Monica Bang! Let's see, uh, let's see what's inside. Monica Bing, of course, was when Monica was playing with uh, Ben and hit his head on the wall. Okay, let's see. Ooh, what's this? A sweater? This looks really comfy. Love the color. It's like, suit, like, ooh. How you doing? Oh my gosh. This looks really comfy. Look at the material. It's, it looks kind of bluey on camera, but it's a very pretty purple color. Oh my gosh. I love the clothing that comes in these boxes. How you doing? Of course, everyone knows what how you doing is. Let's see. A keychain. It's the couch from Central Park. A keychain. I'm sure I can do things with it. Socks. Ooh, I like the the speckle. It looks like the the little dots from inside the word friends. 
I like that they're black. Oh, they're really pretty. Socks. Friend socks. The one with the chick and the duck salt and pepper shaker set. I collect salt and pepper shakers. Something I got from my mom. Chicken the duck. Little salt and pepper shaker set. Let's see what else we have in here. A mini dart board with magnetic darts. That's kind of random. I uh, something that I really liked about the season two box was that there was a lot of stuff that was really with the show, like actual like replicas and stuff like that. This one is kind of just random stuff again. There's really nothing in here that says season three to me besides maybe the chick and the duck salt and pepper shakers. Dartboard. I don't remember anything like specific with a dartboard. It's kind of cool though. I mean magnetic darts. Cool. Sorry, you can start to see the disappointment coming through. The first box I was a little disappointed with as well because it was just random stuff with friends on it. Oh, all right, there's two more things in here. Let's see what they are. This kind of a bag thing. It's got, you know, coffee cup, Central Park, lobster, the, uh, the picture frame, the couch, the fountain. What is this? Is this like one of the things that goes on the backseat of your car? Is it a backpack? I think this is a backpack. What is this? It smells really weird. It smells like old lipstick. Which, by the way, I got a little bit of lipstick on my nose because this is gingerbread scented lipstick and I went to smell it and things didn't go well. Central Park mug. See, this is another thing that's just, it's just friends, nothing. This is kind of stuff you could get somewhere else. Maybe not exactly the same. I like it, okay? I do like it. I just want something a little more special. For instance, what I mean is like in the Seinfeld box, we got a little Fusili Jerry. This is something that was like actually on the show. Kramer made a Fusili Jerry, a little figure of Jerry made out of noodles that looked like this. It's just a mug that says Central Perk on it. You know, mini dartboard. There are so many things that they could make. So we have the sweater, the keychain, the foldable backpack. Okay, so it is a backpack. It's just foldable. Uh, dartboard. Salt and pepper shakers, crew socks, and Central Park mug. Nothing in here about we were on a break. I season three was like my favorite season, and there's nothing. At least I'm assuming this was supposed to be season three. Because the first one was season one, the second one was season two. I don't know. Kind of boring though. Well, this was my friend's mystery box unboxing. I hope you enjoyed, cause I didn't. Like, don't get me wrong. I like all the stuff that's in here. I just wanted something more unique, more specific to the show. 
Anyway, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye!